Assalamu alaikum. President Abdal Fattah al Sisi, your honorable guests, and President Omar al Bashir. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. These are the words of our very own Nelson Mandela. No person makes a greater mistake than he who does nothing because he can only do a little. My name is Catherine Constantinides, a proud South African, international climate activist, human rights defender, and a daughter of the soil of Africa. Your Excellency, we have traveled from all corners of the world to be here, gathered over the last few days. An honor to share a space with 5,000 young people who are energized, who come with their own thinking, their diverse thoughts. We have challenged each other, we have challenged perceptions, we have grown, debated, discussed, and we have learned. The great challenge now lies ahead of us because now we have a responsibility to go back home and to action change. With no fancy titles, no corner offices, all we need is the conviction, passion, determination, and a relentless pursuit of the world that we believe is possible. This year we mark and observe the centenary of Nelson Mandela. And it is an opportunity for us to each ask ourselves, what kind of legacy do we want to leave behind? What do we do each and every day that pours into the lives of those around us, into the lives of those we serve? What is it that we will do to take ownership? And instead of pointing fingers, pointing fingers at leaders who have failed us, governments who have not served us. How do we take the responsibility and ask ourselves as young leaders, what is it that we can do to, ca to take control of our own future? How is it that we can be better active citizens serving our very own communities, our countries, our regions, and the world at large? Now more than ever before, we are a connected global community and we have access to information like never else. Another generation has never seen this kind of connectivity and we have the opportunity to shape our future. This week, I had the opportunity to speak on the environmental and climate work I do back at home and across our continent. I was proud to present a case study on the water crisis that we saw in Cape Town in South Africa earlier this year. Many lessons learned, hard lessons, but ones that can be taken as examples for the rest of the region. I spoke a bit about water security, food security, and also climate justice. It is now time for us to strive for a place that we can all call home, that protects and safeguards the world's natural resources, and one that deliberately ensures that human rights and justice belong to each and every one of us, responsible for the values that we aspire to. In South Africa, we have a beautiful word. It's called Ubuntu. It's a Zulu word that really reminds us that our humanity rests and lies in each other. We are defined by our compassion and our kindness that we find in others. We are the generation that faces the world's greatest challenges. And these challenges are faced the world over. Some of them include poverty, hunger, climate change, refugees, migration, unemployment, a lack of access, human rights violations, gender inequality, a lack of access to safe drinking water and sanitation, addressing the sustainable development goals. But most importantly, our greatest challenge is a lack of tolerance and respect. <clears throat> it
It is in these challenges that we can find our greatest opportunity. An opportunity to write a future that we can all be proud of. A future that sees us recognizing our greatest strength lies in our diversity. And that is who we should strive to be as a people. A different people, but with a shared vision. We need to be proud of who we are, acknowledge where we have come from, but we have to design and shape the future that we want to move towards. And we need to move towards that future together from a country perspective and even a regional perspective. We need to ensure that we take responsibility for the dynamics of our own regions, our countries, and even down to a grassroots level at our communities. We need to all stand in the sand together. To my African brothers and sisters, to the youth of this great continent that we are privileged to call home, our time is now. We must own the fact that we can write our own stories, our own narrative, and most importantly, we need to take ownership of writing our own history. Dear World Youth Forum fellows, participants who have spent the last few days here, the heroes that we are waiting for lie in each and every one of you. Leaders don't just get listed in history books. They live amongst us. The world awaits our great contribution. I implore you to go out and light the candles of others because you will remember and be reminded that by lighting the candle of another, it takes nothing away from your own light. Our contribution needs to be now. Shukran, nyabonga, thank you. World Youth Forum, under the auspices of His Excellency, President Abdel Fattah Sisi.